What's up, everybody? This is a pretty sad moment right now because I'm saying goodbye. Well, it's not a sad moment because I've wanted to get the fuck out of here for a long time, but I'm saying goodbye to my house. It was my house. After nine long years in Michigan, I decided to sell my home and leave that little house at 3620 to go and explore the world. As you guys know, Michigan has kind of kicked my ass and I'm done with it. We're out of here. We're leaving. So goodbye, Winifred. Goodbye, 3620. Goodbye, 3620. And it's, it's just a little peak of sunshine it just came out. Almost like it's wishing me good luck and good riddance to Michigan. Off we go, everybody. I was never meant for the cold weather, and it beat on me every day. And the loss of my father, that memory up there, stuck with me. I had to go. So this is it. Um, I've spent almost nine years in this house. I own this house. This was my home. Um, Michigan was rough on me. I took a beating, but I'm back. I'm back, and I'm ready to go. This is the first, the beginning of van life the beginning of something new, something hopefully very special. We're gonna have a lot of adventures. We have, I have so much planned for you guys. Come along, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Goodbye to Michigan. Uh, I, I did have some good times here. Thankful for all the great times that I did have here. And 3620, rest in peace to those memories. And it's on to the next one. That's life. So here we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Wayne, Michigan. Goodbye, 3620. You supported me when I was at my lowest of lows. I'll never forget you. After spending a week at a friend's and making my final preparations, it was time to hit the road. It was time to escape from Michigan. And we're off. All right, everybody, don't mind me. Just got in the van. It's the beginning of our journey. I know I'm looking extra fat. I've been eating a lot lately. We're in my Ford Transit 2010, about to start van life. Leaving Michigan. Look, let me take this off. Look at this, nice dark hair I got for this new journey. In, my, in the awesome person I was staying with who was taking great care of me. And it's van life. This is literally the beginning of it. Look how fat my face is. Guys, this is gonna disappear. We're going to sunny times. Look at the snow. Look at everything that's happening. It's going to be sunny, sunny, sunny days coming up, everybody. So sit tight. Woo! Oh, man, this is really exciting. First stop today, ladies and gentlemen, Springfield, Illinois. Springfield, Illinois. We're going to see the Tomb of Lincoln and the, pres the Lincoln Presidential Library. I'm pretty excited. So I found, you know, some little small things that I can still do while COVID is happening. Obviously, COVID is a big issue. So there's not a lot of stuff that's open that we can really go to like we normally would. I want to get to Springfield. I actually have a motel reservation. Normally, we're going to be staying in the van. I know what you're thinking. Van life, bro. It's not, it's not staying in a motel. I know. But it's like 10 degrees. So until we get clear, which really isn't going to be until we get to Nevada, you know, maybe the edge of Utah, until we get weather that we can actually sleep in the van, have to get a motel. I'm not going to kill myself. You guys know how much I love Wayne and how much I'm going to miss it. It's such a wonderful city. If you can't tell by the shaky camera from the road, it feels like you're driving a horse, riding a horse. Everything's looking good. I'm feeling good. I should probably cut the camera off for a little bit though. Just take some pictures of me driving. <laughs> we did it! We did it! We're escaping Michigan! We did it! We got out of fucking Michigan, everybody! You did it. We all did it together. Praise the Lord. Okay, where the hell am I going?
Man, I just want to say that this is so cool. I'm having so much fun already. Now, I know what you're thinking. Al, you've been in the van for an hour. Relax about how much you love van life. Because, you know, getting into this, I saw a lot of people would say, you know, the first week, two weeks was so rough on them and so hard on them. I don't think it's going to be for me. I think this is a life that was meant for me. I'm already feeling great. I feel positive vibes. Look how beautiful it is. I've never seen Michigan. Michigan is, in nine years I lived there, it never really looked beautiful to me. Maybe it's because I'm on my way out, but it's gorgeous. Look at the snow. Uh, it's just, this is the life that I mean. In and out, I'm a rolling stone, baby. I'm, I'm here and I'm there and I'm gone. And this is just feels like how I was meant to be. Now, obviously, once I start sleeping in the van, once we get to Nevada and start partying and I'm chilling and sipping on a mimosa. I've never even had a fucking mimosa, but you get the picture. Um, it's gorgeous right now in Michigan on the way out. So, so far, so great. I have nothing but awesome things to say about van life. I'm sure we're going to hit our bumps along the road. Old Blue here might give us a, we're going to have to give her a repair or two down the road. But, you know, all things considered, right now, where everything stands, I know I've, I've only been going for an hour. It feels, I feel like a new man. I feel like a new fucking man. So, van life, here we are, here we go. We, we're about, we're driving through, uh, we're going west through Michigan. We'll probably be in Indiana in a couple hours, I would assume. I have really no <laughs> clue. We're just following Wazi and seeing what happens. So far, Wazi has predicted a police officer and he was there. So, Wazi beating the cops. Look how gorgeous the little farmhouses are. Guys, we're gonna be going through Kansas eventually. Cross your fingers for me. I don't end up somewhere in Children of the Corn. I don't think there's a state in the world that scares me as much as Kansas. There's something about it. It's just a creepy place, so. We may be going through there at night. We may even have to stay a night in Kansas. That's gonna be wild. So stay tuned, Van Life, Swag Ali. We got my boy Blue here with me, and we're doing it up, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh yeah, the beginning of Van Life was off to a great start, that whole hour or two. But no worries, we would hit our bumps and our repairs probably sooner than I would expect. But this felt great. I was out on the road, I felt like a nomad right away, and I can't say I didn't like it. Maybe I was just happy to leave Michigan, but it sure did look great on the way out. What's up everybody? So, I stopped at my first rest area. I think we're in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I have to use the potty. So, let's go check out this wonderful rest area in Kalamazoo. We're still in snowy Michigan, but we're almost out of it. Everybody, Kalamazoo. First stop, still in Michigan. As, a, as you can all probably see, there's nobody here. It's an empty rest area, which is a okay with me. I'm just gonna use the bathroom and get out of our way. Maybe we'll get some snacks. Let's see. What do we got for snacking? Ice cream. Yeah, that's not gonna be good for me. None of this stuff is particularly great. What would you guys get? Oh, maybe I'll get some sun chips or something. We'll see how much they're charging. I know what you're thinking. Big deal, it's a little restaurant. I mean, excuse me, I know what you're thinking. Big deal, it's a little rest stop. But, it's the first one. Our first rest stop on our journey in van life. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of these. Look at that beautiful blue van, everybody. Well, guys, we knew it wasn't gonna be perfect, but check it out. We got, uh, we got a lot of snow. It's a snowing. 
because of course it is. We're gonna be in Indiana any moment. And then we'll be in Illinois. I'm thinking of going to Chicago and grabbing a slice of pizza. Why not? There it is, everybody. Welcome to Indiana. We just left. We are gone. Michigan, we're gone. We are now out of Michigan, once and for all. We're never going back. Welcome to Indiana, everybody. Check it out, everybody. We are out of Michigan. We're in Indiana. I had started planning my move from Michigan almost two years before this. It's almost like it didn't even seem real. I finally did it. I got out of Michigan. Can you guys believe it? We're actually out of Michigan. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. We are officially out of Michigan. Say it again, say it with me. We have escaped from Michigan. It's a beautiful thing. 